opening businesses not to carry large amounts of money over the weekend because of the strike. They say companies should use armoured carriers. In a surprise move late today, the Grace Brothers retail chain announced it had sold out its controlling interest in the Norman Ross discount business, which it had fought to buy only a month ago. Grace Brothers has sold out to Walton's Bond, with whom it had been engaged in a battle for ownership of Norman Ross. Colin Segalov has this report. It's only a matter of weeks since Grace Brothers celebrated the takeover of Norman Ross, beating other interested parties to the punch with an offer of just over $6 a share. The big loser then was regarded as the Walton's Bond Group, which appeared willing to pay more but made its run too late. Walton's launched a legal challenge to the Grace Brothers' bid, but until today looked to have lost the battle of the retailers' war. Now, for reasons yet to be revealed, Grace Brothers has sold out. And while there's no doubt about the new buyer, it's not yet clear whether Grace Brothers has taken a profit or a loss. The massive manhunt for the IRA bombers in London is continuing, with police equipped with an identical picture of a man who was seen parking the car which exploded near Hyde Park, killing two members of the Queen's household cavalry. The death toll from the two bomb blasts stands at nine. Meanwhile, in a show of defiance and tradition, British cavalrymen today carried on with the daily changing of the guard. They followed the same route and timing, passing the scene of yesterday's bomb blast. Onlookers watched and applauded as they rode by. And in a nearby hospital, Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher visited some of the victims of the blast. Also in Britain, the return of the aircraft carrier Hermes after three months' action in the Falklands. She steamed into Portsmouth Harbour to a tumultuous welcome. A huge spectator fleet was on hand as the 30,000-ton carrier made its way to the dock for the emotional welcome. And for the sailors, marines and pilots, it was indeed a welcome sight after their 14-week tour of duty in the Falklands. Well, you'd think parking your car in a multi-storey car parking building would be a fairly simple task, but one Melbourne man got himself into a spot of bother while carrying out that exercise today. Jennifer Kite has this story. A small crowd gathered at the BHP car park today when a man on his way to work almost drove his vehicle over the edge of a sixth-floor parking bay. Being in the habit of revving the engine before turning it off, the man had proceeded to pump the fuel. However, the car was not in park and it plunged into the iron railings, leaving the front of the vehicle hanging in the balance. The XD Falcon came to a halt when it jammed into the top railing. An Indian man was the only person in the company car, and although he was shaken by the incident, he wasn't injured. Attendants at the car park in Little Collins Street used a hand pulley from a nearby garage to hoist the car back onto firm ground. They say the car suffered only minor damage. Jennifer Kite, Eyewitness News. Lucky fella. Now the weather, and tomorrow you'll probably be waking to the sound of rain. It'll clear later in the morning to a cool to mild day. Temperatures for the city will range from 8 to 16 degrees, and Liverpool 6 to 16 degrees. Remember, Ron Wilson will have our next schedule bulletin at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. But from me, Ian Hislop, and the Eyewitness News team, it's a very good night. You've been watching Eyewitness News Nightcast. Tonight, Bill Collins presents a great action double bill at 8.30, The Horse Soldiers. If, if, maybe, perhaps. What's the matter, medicine man? That's your own section hand. I've had you. Strip your blouse. The Yankees and the Confederates in a bloody confrontation of hell. What are the rules going to be, Colonel? Just make up your own. 8.30, John Wayne and William Holden star on The Horse Soldiers. Then... Bert Lancaster and Kirk Douglas star in the spine-chilling story of espionage, Seven Days in May. I'm suggesting, Mr. President, there's a military plot to take over the government. This may occur sometime this coming Sunday. It was a conspiracy that involved the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the highest office in the land. I presume, Mr. President, you're prepared to back up that charge? I am prepared to brand you for what you are, General. The Horse Soldiers, 8.30, followed by Seven Days in May, Friday, 8.30 on 10. When you need a superhero, just give Ralph a call. William Cat and Robert Culp star in The Greatest American Hero, Friday, 7.30. Who could it be? This is Channel 10. Believe it or not, it's just me. Welcome to Vintage Mystery Theatre. Tonight, Carl Malden stars in Edgar Allan Poe's chilling classic, Phantom of the Rue Morgue.